Okay, welcome to another lunar flight video. And in this video, I am going to start over with this game. In the first several Let's Plays, I was spending a tremendous amount of time just kind of learning how to use the interface, how the controls worked, and I made a lot of mistakes. I was I couldn't figure out like where the zero position was at on the on the pitch ladder. Well, rather I shouldn't say I couldn't figure out where it was at, but rather I was looking in the wrong place on the pitch ladder. Um, I also didn't know how the radar worked exactly, and there were just several things I didn't know. I feel like I now have a pretty good understanding of how the game works, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to delete my profile and start brand new. So let's uh, start over, because I really didn't accomplish anything with that profile anyway. I gained some experience and some cash, but all the successes that I had, quote unquote, were purely dumb luck for the most part. So let's just start a brand new profile. And uh, I guess we'll do offline. I don't remember, I don't remember this option before. And play. So we now have a, you know, a rank one, level one, no cash game. And we're starting from scratch. All right, well, we don't need the basic controls and tutorial anymore, so we can go ahead and close that off. And for starters, we are here in the easiest of the maps, and we're just going to pick mission number one, whatever it is. And it's a transport mission, which I kind of like those, actually, so we're going to accept that, put it on the nav, and we have to go uh, that way over to that point, and it's a, a trip of 390.42 meters. And north is exactly behind us, but for this particular mission, that doesn't really matter. Now, here's one thing I do want to point out. I don't know if I mentioned this in one of the previous videos or not, but the pitch ladder that we can see here, it's very obvious when you're sitting on the landing pad that this would be 10 degrees pitch, this would be minus 10 degrees pitch, and right here is zero, right between the power indicator and the V rate, which currently I have those, I uh, have the labels turned off, but if we tilt the camera down here onto this eye and left click there then you can see the power indicator here we got the labels turned on and the v-rate there these two horizontal bars that's where the zero pitch is at it's completely obvious when you're sitting here on the landing pad but for some reason i never paid attention to that and then when i got up into the uh up and up, up off the ground i was thinking that this position right here we see where this this bar is and that bar is for some reason, I was thinking that is where I had to be pitched to in order to have a zero pitch. And obviously, if you're pitched to that point, you actually have like 20 degrees worth of pitch, I think it works out to be. And that means that as you're applying power to hover, you're actually thrusting forward. So that, that was a lot of my problem. Anyway, let me tilt the camera back down here and turn off these labels. I don't need them on anymore. And we can turn off the UI. Um, having the UI on inside the virtual cockpit doesn't really do us a lot of good. So let's get started. We have zero experience, as you can see up here. We have zero out of 5,000. We need 5,000 experience to get uh, level two upgrades, I think they're called. Uh, something else I can do, I can bring up the, the UI and we can come to the lift to power ratio. We have a basic vessel, so we have no upgrades but we are carrying some amount of cargo and I actually don't see from this uh, visual what the cargo number is. So let me press over here. We have 1000 worth of cargo. So I believe that means that we need 39%, I think that is, in order to hover up off, j just to have that buoyancy point, that zero point where you're hovering and not gaining or losing altitude. Um, it's interesting, though. I wonder why we don't have that information from the virtual cockpit. Or actually, we probably just have to turn over here. Ah, there it is. So you have to tilt your head over here to see the cargo. Got it. All right, so we need 1,000, or rather, we need 39 just to be at zero. I'm still going to argue that I do not like the way the thrust works in this game. Um, again, when you press the left stick on the Xbox controller, you can see clearly, I mean, there's only... You only have, you know, what is that? I, I don't even know, a, a centimeter worth of travel. So in order to get to that 39 position and then lock it, it's, it's impossible. 
So what you end up doing is you end up locking it at like 75 or you end up locking it at nine. Then you have to use the left and right triggers to add additional thrust or take away additional thrust. And the problem with that, that's actually a good idea, but the problem is adding in thrust, it just takes way, way freaking too long. So if you lock it at nine, you sit there and add thrust for like, I don't even know, 20 seconds. And then if you, if you go the other way and you add in way too much thrust and lock it, then as you're holding down the right trigger, you're, you're holding it, you know, forever. It, just, it you need to have, the interface needs to have some option to increase or decrease the sensitivity of adding and subtracting thrust. It's just way too slow in my opinion. All right, now that said, let's uh, take off and head over to the other base and deposit this cargo. Will be our first mission with the new profile. So let me uh, first of all try to lock in at around 39. So I'm pressing the left trigger and you can see I locked at 13. Now watch this, I'm gonna have to hold this trigger That's just ridiculously slow. There's got to be a way to increase that. So now we have greater than 39, so we should be lifting up, and we are. Now we'll yaw around. I'm going to immediately take away that little bit of additional thrust because I don't want to climb. So we have 39 now. We should have no vertical rate. Put in enough yaw to get around, and we can see that the radar position is swinging around. I want that to be basically right in the center. Start taking away some of that yaw now so we don't overshoot. And that's basically close enough. I think I overshot a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pitch forward. And while I do that, I'm going to unlock and put in full power on the main to just increase my uh, forward velocity a little bit. And I have absolutely no idea how fast I'm moving forward. Not a clue. Because the one other thing that's missing, in my opinion, is a something that will tell me how fast I'm moving forward. You have vertical rate over here but you don't have a horizontal rate so you don't know how fast you're moving forward and the velocity doesn't tell you how fast you're moving forward the velocity is basically a totally useless piece of information because it's a combination of vertical and horizontal and that just is worthless it doesn't tell you anything so we have uh, well one thing i can say when this is exactly 0.0, .0 then I suppose this is your correct forward velocity, I think. But that, but, you, but that only matters. And actually, you can see it's changing constantly, so I have no idea what this is telling me. None. I don't, I don't know what that even means. Okay, so we have just a little bit of roll that's creeped in. That's okay. And uh, part of that, again, part of the roll issue I was having was because I was looking at the wrong place on the pitch ladder. Uh, rotate. Oops, I'm yawing the wrong way, apparently, or rolling the wrong way, apparently. So, um, I'm pressing the wrong button for the uh, power. That's my fault. I'm trying to take away power, but I'm actually inputting power. That's strictly my fault. So now I'm going to take away down to about 30. And apparently I've, con I've managed to come to a stop, and I don't know how that happened, but now I'm just going to translate forward. And we're descending a little bit, so let me put in just a tiny bit of power back to 30, 39, apparently. So we go 39.5. That should get us climbing a little bit, which is what we need because we've got a little bit of a hill. What I can also do is unlock, put in a little bit of power temporarily, and then relock it once the vertical rate's a little bit above zero. That way I can, you know, you can see the velocity vector there. I need to put in a bit of roll. I believe if you roll toward the low side, yeah, that gets you back to zero. So when you're looking here, whichever one of those is lower, now I need to take away some of that power. And again, if I unlock and then relock when the vertical rate drops, that'll help. But I'm losing forward velocity. I don't know why. I guess my pitch must not be perfectly zero. Still climbing a little bit. Let's take out a bit of power. Let's unlock and then relock when we're back to about zero. Yaw around, or rather translate over to the right a little bit. And put in a bit of roll to the left, because I believe the left side's a bit low, or the right side, rather. 
I need to figure out how to adjust the sensitivity on the roll. It's too, it's too much movement at once. Let me unlock, put in some power, relock. Translating forward a little bit because we need to speed up. We were down to 330 on the fuel. But we're pretty well on target. Need to speed up though because we do have very little fuel left. Okay, we are dropping a little bit. You can see our vertical rate's coming down, so we should not have to take out too much more power. Start translating forward a little bit to eliminate the forward movement. And we're getting very close to the landing pad. We can see over here in the V-cam, these cameras are useful to an extent. that They're a little weird the way they work, but I've slowly been getting familiar with how they work. Uh, this one sort of tilts to where the velocity vector is at. Actually, I need to pay attention or else I'm not going to make it. Put in a little more power. Oops, that's taking away power. Uh, quick emergency unlock and then okay we're over the site and eh, that wasn't very good um, I, I get an emergency here and I don't really have fuel to deal with an emergency okay we've got some major problems here because I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing all right, we're on the ground next to the pad, and we're going to hopefully not tip over. Okay, let's see if we can get to the pad. We've only got 90, I don't know what that is, 90 kilograms, 90 feet meters per second left. All right, power up, roll. Need to yaw over to the. Oh boy, this is tricky because we have all kinds of stuff going on here at once. Well, at least we're facing the right way now. Okay, power up. Translate forward. Come on, we can do this without running out of fuel. Maybe. No, we can't. Six left. No. All right. Well. At least we didn't crash. All right, well, uh, what we can do here, turn the UI back on. Actually, I guess it was already on. We have to recover the vessel. So we'll look over here, and if we go to recover, and then you can see where that arrow is pointing to it, I'll left click. At least I thought that's how you did it. We have to power off first, then recover. No, hang on one second. I gotta turn my. I've got a space heater that that I keep running in this room, uh, even though it's Florida. It still gets kind of cold here sometimes in the winter, but I only run it in this single room. But sometimes it gets hot when I'm recording videos. How do I recover? I forgot how that works. I th thought you could just click that. All right, missions, abort. I guess we have to abort first. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. I guess the thing, though, about aborting the mission, though, it didn't cost us anything. I think if you, if you crash your vessel or if you have to recover it, it costs money, so that didn't cost us anything. So let's go back to mission number one, and we'll just accept it, whatever it is, put it on the nav, and let's do this again. This time I won't have to talk so much, so I will be, hopefully be able to do better. All right. And how much cargo do we have? We can look over here. We have 2,000 cargo this time. So if we looked at, look at our lift off power to weight, that means that we need 41 just to balance the vessel. So again... Let's uh, press the left trigger and 
biggest complaint I think about the game is the power thing. So if I kind of get it right about there and lock it, that's not too bad. Now I can go up to 41. And like actually 41.5, now I should be hovering or lifting up. And I am. Now I'll rotate around to the... This way. Okay, zero that out. And again, now I'm going to pitch forward, turn off the power, hold, and then go forward. This time I'm going to go forward a little bit faster because I didn't get over there fast enough last time. So we're pitched to about 75 degrees, a little less than 75. All right, that's more than enough forward movement. There's actually a hill here in the way too, so we need to be careful we don't... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, now we should be moving forward at about... Well, again, we don't know. We have no clue because there's no indicator anywhere of what our horizontal speed is. We only know what our vertical speed is. And our velocity is some random number that doesn't mean anything. So again, I'm going to unlock the power, bring the vertical rate back to zero, then relock. That's about the best way I've found to make sure that you don't get way far off on the, um, on the vertical rate. Now I'm going to bring the power down to 41 exactly, so we should be at that hover point. Put in a little bit more forward translation, just to make sure we get over there. We're still climbing a little bit, so I'm going to unlock. Then relock. Oops. Relock when I get to zero. A little bit of right translation. A little bit more. Because you can see the landing pads here. And our radar is indicating that we're a bit off to the left. So I'm just going to put in some right translation until that's more centered like it is now. Then bring the translation back over. A little more forward translation though because I feel like things aren't happening fast enough and the other thing is I don't know how far away I am from the pad I am this, this says 92 meters but it doesn't mean anything because that includes your altitude so you don't you don't know how far away from the pad you are all right let's slow down one thing about this cam though if you put the velocity vector right on the landing pad and probably actually want it a little above the landing pad because if, you, if you're right on the landing pad, you might actually hit the side of the pad. So probably right where it's at, it's good. All right, we're almost there. We're descending a little bit, that's what we want. And we are like, let me pause real quick. So if this is 31.46, but we are at 11 meters above the ground. So our actual distance between where we are at right now and the pad, I think, is like 20. Because if you take 31 minus 11, you get 20. Of course, there's some decimal points in there, but you know, about 20 meters from the pad. And that's what you really need to know. You need to know how far away you are from the center of the pad so you can decide when you're going to begin your braking. Put in just a touch of power. Touch more because I can see the velocity vector dropping down below the below the pad and we'll get it this time we got plenty of power uh, plenty of fuel left I mean in fact I can put in a little bit of forward translation let's take out some of this roll though we got somehow a little bit of roll we're almost there descending ever so slightly which is fine put in a little bit of forward translation so that we don't drop below the pad before we get over top of the pad and we know that because the velocity vector is past the pad, so we should be able to have enough power, enough forward movement to get past it. Now we are getting over the pad, so we can start eliminating our forward velocity. Um, hmm. Still seems like I'm hitting the pad a little bit early. Oh no, not again. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, are you serious? Herp derp. All right, well, so far our new pilot isn't doing so hot. Let's try again. Uh, we have to abort the mission. Is there no way to just like recover? Because I, I would like to take a penalty for that since I didn't succeed. I don't want to just 
abort, I would like to have a, a, a cost penalty. But I don't see how you can just... See, what if I click here? Does that give me a cost penalty? No. Hmm. Actually, I got money. That, that's... Hmm. I don't agree with that. I got 250 experience and 7,500. 7, I should have just aborted. All right. See, because what I would like, for me, I would like to start with a new pilot, and then, you know, if if I run out of money before I even complete the first mission, then I should feel like I should be a total failure and I should have to start over. But here, I'm getting money and I'm getting experience for crashes, and I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. Okay, let's mission, uh, mission number one, whatever it is, accept it, put it on the nav, and let's do this. But first, we need to look how much cargo we're carrying. This time, it's a thousand. So we need 39. Hey, I got really close that time. All right, 39 point. Let's go 40. And yaw over to whatever base that is that we need to go to. Okay, take out the yaw. Now shut off the power hold, pitch forward, and start putting in power. I'm kind of toggling the power on and off because I'm looking at the vertical rate. I don't want to climb and, you know, really fast. Careful we don't run into objects along the way, though. Okay, wait till the vertical rate gets to zero, then we'll relock. Right there. Uh, I guess one thing I would like to have too would be next to the pitch indicator. This tells me if I'm pitching or not, and right now I'm not. But I am at about zero, but I don't know if it's exactly 0, 0.00. So I could be currently adding in some additional velocity or taking away velocity. So like maybe zero slash whatever my actual pitch is right now, which might be like 0.5 one way or the other because it's not exactly like halfway between here, you know, like right there is probably, I don't know. All right, anyway, enough about that. Let's uh, start breaking here. Yep, it's time to break. Watching the velocity vector on the camera over there, right? We probably need our velocity to be, you know, down to less than one so we can control it just with translation. Right about like that. Now back to the zero position, which I now know where to find. Power so we don't drop into the ground. Oops, and I have some pitch in there on accident. Okay, lock the power, translate over. We actually need to climb a little bit. Now lock the power. Let's translate forward a little bit. Let's get well over the center of the pad this time before we start taking away the the power for. Her. Okay. Okay, we're over the pad. And now we can start taking away some power. Lock and relock. I guess if we want to get fancy, we can even try to line up the four dots over top the other ones, but we'll probably be down before we get to that point. All right, there we are. Now unlock the power. First real success. Now, I've also learned that when you do a transport mission, you press the up key on the D-pad. That's this thing's called a D-pad, and that will upload the cargo to the to the landing pad. And then that is how, and you can actually see it down here. All right. I would say that's like the first real success of this game. Duration was three minutes, 42 seconds, 125 experience, 1250 cash, some kind of range bonus, skill bonus. Okay, close that out. Let's refuel and pick one more mission. We've got five minutes left. 
So, I guess we can just pick mission number one again. It'll be a different mission, I assume. Put it on the nav, see how much cargo we're carrying. 4,000. So, 4,000 this time will be 45.5. I think I left it locked at 39, and I, I know that it keeps your lock. So if I just press the lock key now, it should automatically go back to wherever it was locked at previously, which was like 39, and that's close enough to the 45 that I'm better off doing that than trying to re-get re it with the uh, trigger. So let's lock. Yeah, and just have to add in 10 this time. So 45. Let's go to f that number just so that we're you know gaining some altitude here. And let's uh, yaw back over toward whatever base we're going to. Start eliminating some of that yaw. And I kind of overshot it a bit. Okay, take out the yaw. And now shut off the lock, pitch forward. And then just kind of watch your vertical rate. You know, don't let it drop to negative start moving forward and don't yeah again watch your vertical rate because if you're pitched over too much then you're not having enough thrust to go out the bottom to keep you above the ground so that's plenty of forward movement I would say pitch back to zero bring up the uh, vertical rate to zero and then lock Take out a little bit of power because we only need 45.5 to maintain hover. Okay, a little bit of a little bit of right translation, a little bit of roll. And again, I think if you roll to the left wing, the, whichever side's lower, need to adjust that roll sensitivity. It's too much. Okay, we're almost to the destination, so unlock the power. Pitch back. Again, I'm just watching the vertical speed. I don't want to climb really at this point. And I'm watching the forward movement or velocity, which, you know, again, you don't really know what the velocity is because it's a combination of vertical and horizontal. And if you hear that indicator, get scared. Okay, we're almost back. And get the vertical rate to zero, then lock. Get your pitch to zero and it seems again that we want to make sure that we're well over the pad before we start eliminating forward movements we'll hit the like the bottom edge of the pad right now we can eliminate the forward movement take out a little bit of power to descend and uh, we made it roll is zero pitch is zero yaw is zero so we should set settle down nicely there we are take out the power and upload the cargo. Did I land at the wrong base? Take it to Bravo. I'm at Bravo. Upload the cargo. Hmm. Am I not centered enough on the pad? Surely it's not that finicky. I don't know, I guess it just something didn't register, so I had to lift up and settle back down. Alright, so we completed that mission, and it would have been 30 or 40 seconds faster if I hadn't had that issue there with the cargo. And we gained 500 real experience points, not accidental fake experience points. We gained some real cash. And yeah, there you have it. 
All right, let's refuel, and we're at 30 minutes on this part of the video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, end it here. Uh, if you like the video, uh, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. More importantly, leave comments down below. I like comments more than anything because it just gives me an idea of what your thoughts and opinions are if you like watching this stuff or not. And check for links in the description down below. Really fun game. I do recommend it. It's got a little bit of a learning curve, you know, like all games do. You got to figure out how things work. But once you get a feel for it, uh, you'll have you'll have a lot of fun with it, and it's pretty cheap. I think it's ten dollars on Steam, so check it out. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm having here, when I turn off my video, I press Control Alt F12. That's the hotkey that I have for it. But the Control key is the lock for the uh, for the hover hold. So every time I go to turn my camera on or off, I have this lock issue, so I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to change that control key to something else for the lock. Cause I, I don't want to remap my camera key. It's I I'm too used to it. I've been using it this way for years. So anyway, next video.